Hi guys, my name is Trevor Sullivan. I'm a Microsoft PowerShell MVP and a solution architect with Project Leadership Associates. Today I'd like to talk to you about System Center 2012 R2 Configuration Manager's compliance settings feature. And the example that we're going to use in today's demo is to show how to divide servers between automatic reboots and manual reboots for patch deployments. So what we're going to basically do is set up two different collections in Configuration Manager, and then we're going to use a custom registry value to determine whether each server should fall into the automatic patching collection or the manual patching collection. So let's take a look at how to do this. First, we're going to need to create two different collections called manual patching and automatic patching. So we're just going to go ahead and limit it to all systems for now, and we're not going to add any criteria because that will come a little bit later. So we're going to create manual patching, and now we're going to create automatic patching. So we're just going to scope these to all systems collection and not create any membership rules for the time being. Now, how are we going to populate these collections with servers? Well, we're going to use the System Center 2012 R2 Configuration Manager compliance settings feature to achieve this. Basically, what we're going to do is on each server, we're going to populate a registry value for our fictionary, fictional company called Contoso. And then we're going to create the registry key underneath Contoso called Windows Server for the Windows Server team at the Contoso IT department. And then finally, we're going to create a string value inside of the Windows Server team's uh, registry key on each server. And we're going to call this uh, reboot policy. Okay, and if this registry value is set to auto, then we want the machine to fall into the auto collection. If this value is set to manual instead, then we will put it into the manual collection automatically. And we're going to use the compliance settings feature to achieve this. So now that we've got this registry value set to auto on one of our servers, let's go ahead and create the configuration items that are necessary to achieve our objectives. So I'm going to first create one configuration item for auto reboots. So let's just call this auto patching. So I'm going to go ahead and run through the wizard really quick just to finish off creating the configuration item. I'm going to go ahead and actually do the same thing for the manual patching. So I'm just going to create an empty configuration item that has nothing in it. And then we'll come back and populate them. I'm also going to create two baselines. So I'm going to create a baseline called auto patching. And let's go ahead and add the CI for auto patching to it so that when we fill it out, it's already a member. And let's create a second baseline called manual patching. And we will add the CI for manual patching to that baseline. Now let's go ahead and deploy out the baseline for auto patching out to our collection so that we can immediately start uh, assessing compliance. So I'm going to set this to run every 15 minutes to check compliance every 15 minutes, and I'm just going to toss out the deployment to the all systems collection. So now how do we set up the logic inside the configuration item to determine compliance? Well, what we're going to do is open up the auto patching CI, and then we're going to add a new registry setting inside that CI. So we're going to go over to the settings tab, create a new setting, and we're going to call this auto patching. Now, we're going to use the setting type of registry value, which is already selected. And the data type of that registry value, if you remember, is a string. So the registry value named reboot policy contains string data, and it's currently set to auto. So we have to tell it what the registry key path is and the name of the registry value. So our registry key path is going to be software, contoso, windows, server. And then the registry value name is called reboot policy. And on 64-bit systems, we're just going to say that this exists in the 64-bit hive. So we're going to check off this box that says it's associated with a 64-bit application. So now we need to create a rule. So we basically need to say when this registry value is set to auto, then we need to return compliance. So we're going to go under compliance rules and create a new compliance rule. And we're going to use the rule type of value, because if we used an existential rule, we would only be detecting if this registry value exists or does not exist. However, we want to actually make sure that it equals a specific value, which is going to be auto. 
So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in there. And then we're going to say report the non-compliance if this registry value is not found. So if that registry value named reboot policy is not there, then it's going to report non-compliance. Additionally, we're going to set the compliance state of or the non-compliance state to warning so that in our compliance reports we can see a warning state if a machine does not match this compliance rule. So let's go ahead and save our configuration item now that we've got it set up. Let's go ahead and restore the reboot policy registry value and set it to auto. And we've already deployed this uh, We've already added the CI to a baseline and deployed the baseline out to a collection. So let's go ahead and do a machine policy refresh on our client machine, which is actually a server. So we're going to come in here and do a machine policy retrieval and evaluation cycle. And in a moment here, we should see that configuration baseline show up. And if we click on the evaluate button, the configuration manager client will perform an evaluation based off of the machine's current state. And if you remember, just a second ago, we set the reboot policy to auto, so this shows as compliant. Now, if we were to set up the same process with the manual patching, you would see that that one is non-compliant. So let's go ahead and configure this. Let's go into the manual patching CI, go under the settings, create a new setting, and it's going to point to the same location in the registry. So it's going to return a string value, and it's going to be under software, contoso, Windows Server, and the value name is called Reboot Policy, right? So under the Compliance Rule, we're going to, again, create a Compliance Rule called Manual Patching. We're going to compare the value of the registry value to Manual. So if it equals Manual, it's compliant. Otherwise, it's not. And again, we'll say Report Non-Compliance if the registry value Reboot Policy is completely gone. And so we'll set it to warning if uh, it does not match compliance with this policy. So basically what's going to happen here is because we have two separate CIs and two separate baselines that are deployed to our machines, there's always going to be one baseline that is compliant and one baseline that is not compliant. Because either it's set to auto or it's set to manual, uh, it can't really be in both states at once, right? So um, let's go ahead and confirm our change here. We've already deployed that baseline out, so let's go ahead and just do another machine policy refresh to pick up on the change to the CI that we made. Actually, I think we didn't deploy the manual patching one. Yeah, it says not deployed, so let's go ahead and deploy that out to our collection as well. We'll say run every 15 minutes. Okay, so now we have both baselines with each with, with one configuration item deployed out to our collection. So let's go ahead and run another machine policy retrieval cycle. And within a moment, we should see our second baseline pop in. So the manual patching one is going to show non-compliant because this registry value is set to auto, not manual. So let's go ahead and kick off evaluation and you'll see that manual is non-compliant the auto patching one is compliant. If we change this registry value to manual and simply rerun the evaluation of auto, auto changes to non-compliant because it's no longer set to auto. If we go to manual patching and evaluate that, it shows now as compliant because the value of that registry value is manual. If we change this to something else like ASDF, ASDF, and we evaluate compliance for both of these baselines, they're both going to show non-compliant and the machine will not fall into either collection. So the final bit to set up here is to basically enable these collections to determine membership based off the baseline compliance. So let's go ahead and uh, go, to, to go to our device collections, go to auto patching and go to properties. And then we're gonna add a new membership rule to the collection. So we're going to add a query rule, and we're going to call it auto patching. We're going to click on edit query statement, and then we're going to add a new piece of criteria under the criteria tab. Now, the attribute class that we want to look at is called DCM deployment state, and the baseline unique ID actually is a GUID. So we need to uh, check out which of these two GUIDs here is the correct baseline for auto. Uh, so let's go ahead and click one for now, and we'll go ahead and validate it. 
me just close out of here. So we're going to look at the baselines. Then we're going to go enable the uh, CI unique ID. And we can see the baselines unique identifier over here. So the auto patching one starts with 779138FF. So let's open up our query rule again and see if we picked the right one the first time. So it looks like we've got the correct one. So it starts with 779138FF. Perfect. So now we have one piece of criteria. So we're basically saying the baseline unique identifier is the 779 one. Now we also have to say that we want the baseline to be in a compliant state. So we're going to grab the DCM deployment state class and then look at the compliance state property or attribute. And we're going to check that that is equal to one because when it's equal to one, it means that the machine is compliant. If it's equal to five, then the machine is non-compliant. So now we've set up our collection rule to uh, build that collection from the compliance state of auto patching. So let's do the same thing for the manual patching. We're going to go into our membership rules for the manual patching collection, add a new query rule, and call it manual patching. Let's edit the query statement and follow the same procedure we did for the first one. We, we add a new piece of criteria for the DCM deployment state. We look at the baseline unique ID, and we want to grab the 89060 baseline right here. And similarly, we want to check that the baseline compliance state is equal to one, which means it's compliant. So if a machine is compliant with this manual patching baseline, it will fall into this collection and it will fall out of the auto patching collection. So that's all there really is to getting this set up. Um, basically, all you really have to do at this point is set up your deployments for your software updates. So you come in here to your software update group, you'll say deploy, and you'll do one deployment to each collection. So we'll say auto patching and choose our collection, uh, auto patching. And then we're going to set it to required. So we want to force these updates down. And then here we're going to, uh, we're going to leave these boxes unchecked to suppress the system restart because we want these systems under the auto collection to automatically reboot. So let's go ahead and create that deployment. Now we're going to create one more deployment and send it out to our manual patching collection. Only the second deployment, we are going to suppress the restarts on. So let's go ahead and deploy out to manual patching and just call our deployment manual patching. We're going to require the updates to be installed. And this time we're going to check these boxes to suppress the system restart on server and workstation operating systems. So that's all there really is to it. By this time, you should be good to go. Uh, just to quickly review what we did, we created two separate collections, one for automatic, pa automatic patching reboots and one for manual reboots on servers. And we set up a configuration item that detects the state of the registry value. One checks for manual, one checks for auto. So let's go ahead and fix that up. Uh, we created a baseline, one, one baseline for each scenario. And then we deployed those baselines to our all systems collection. So all of our systems are assessing compliance against these baselines. And then depending on whether or not they are compliant with these baselines, they will automatically fall into these auto or manual collections. And once they fall into those collections, we set up deployments for software updates to either require reboots or to suppress reboots. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Take care.